Remember, we're looking at that yeah. green dot right there, that green dot. Okay, <laughs> I love you. Good morning. Becky, good morning. <gasps> hey, everybody. It is week 165, because I just cheated and looked at the computer. <laughs> Sunday, January 30th, 2022. 2022. And it's another week of our keto journey. Yes. And this week, I didn't do nothing. Well, I did stuff, I mean, but I didn't get anywhere <laughs> on the scale. 3.36 last week, 3.36 this morning. But I guess it's better than going up. Hmm. Hmm. I did not do any fasting or OMAD, and I'm guilty. And I was not on the bike as much as I should be. Um, Your back's been hurting tonight, this last week too, though. So I guess that's my confession, and I have like 100 Hail Mary, you know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, that's me. It's, it's, a, it's a week later and nothing's changed for me this week. But the last couple of weeks I dropped a pound or two here and there, so I'm happy. Yeah, we will get there. Um, last week I weighed in at 157. <laughs> this morning I weighed in at 159. Having said that, if this was years ago, I would have said, Bill, I think I'm pregnant. My body hates me right now. Um, I am super, super bloated. Um, my period is over a week late. <sighs> I'm feeling it. I feel very like a sausage. Um, Maybe that's stress or something. Just for people that don't know, there's really not much of a chance of Stacey being pregnant. Absolutely so, not. No, she just, <laughs> she just, something's going on. It's just this whole perimenopause, the hot flashes have been pretty Changing. bad. Um, couple, I think the other day I had two in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's definitely um, changing I, I don't my know body. What, I don't know I, what to do for this one because I make it cold in here and I'm frigid and covered to my neck and she's got everything stripped and she's like, <sighs> so, like don't touch it's right hot don't in here. don't even touch me You're right <sighs> keep telling telling okay. myself this too shall pass um, it's very frustrating my weight's not getting anywhere I feel like I'm just going up. My fingers are killing me. I can't even move. Well, let me ask you a question. Wings. Have you have you blown it? Have you just gone off the rails and ate bad stuff? And no. okay then. I, so don't be too hard on yourself. It's super frustrating when I maintained the one thirty five to one thirty seven for over two years, and then all of a sudden near your one fifty nine. Yeah. Oh geez, that's that's quite a bit up. Yeah. Yeah, I pretty much stayed the same. I mean, I go up three or four and I go down five or six and I go up four or five and I go down two and yeah. so I mean, I'm in those three thirties yeah. perpetually it feels like but well I'd I'm rather be where I was at and just no I, be, I get but, you but I just I feel like no matter what I do I mean it's certainly not portion control I can guarantee no, you not that. for you <laughs> it's not I've not done any you know I have my dinner by usually uh six thirty seven o'clock um and then not snacking when I get home well, uh, I wondered, too, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but um, had you done any of the carb manager tracking like we talked about? I so did. I need it? to eat more fats. Um, I'm not getting anywhere near, I think, where I need to be for the old parameters that we set. I don't know if I need to change those parameters because those were when we initially... Just do the keto parameter. I mean, yeah. there's a key in there for, oh, okay. you know, here's my weight, here's my age. I just went my... off of what we had in yeah, there yeah. wherever ago. And that was totally based on what other people were doing. And, right. You Although, know. I feel like now it'll be right where... But it, there is just a straight out, you know, a keto formula built into Car Manager that you could just click click that and follow yeah. those parameters. What I'm curious of, are, are, are you eating enough calories? I mean, what's your calorie intake? Is it like 1,300, 1,500? For your size, weight, height? No, I'm not eating enough calories. Okay, so let's say that it's hypothetically 1,500 because I haven't seen your card manager. Mm -hmm. How much are you eating of that 1,500 per se? 50%, 80%? Uh, Maybe you're starving yourself and your body's trying to hold on to everything. I, I guess that's Instead could of be. letting it go. Yeah, I think we were, um, when I looked the other day, it was, I want to say just under 1,000 calories. But is I, your, is, is what you're eating or what you're allowed? Is what I'm eating. Okay, well that's better than I thought. Yeah. And what's your uh, allotment like? Are you 1400 I would say like 1400 Yeah, I'm very fortunate in this fact that I'm so big and so tall, being 6'6", six, six, 
a big guy, I, I think it's giving me somewhere like 25, 50, and that's even at a deficit to lose weight each week. Yeah. And there are days that I've gone over and there are days that I'm under. It just depends on if you're hungry or not, you know? Yeah. But for me, it's pretty easy to fill those numbers. Um, mm -hmm. Where I always end up falling short a little bit is on the fats, honestly, because mostly yeah. my proteins go right up because I eat a lot of eggs and chicken. Right. And uh, I try and balance it out and throw other things in. But um, it, it always seems to me when I review mm -hmm. Carb Manager that I've been short on um, short on the fats and yeah. over on the proteins. I've never been over on anything, but definitely way shorter on the fats. I guess I just got to get my, you know, my... Guess, I don't know. Get out of perimenopause well, and menopause. That's what I need to do. There you go. Maybe <laughs> maybe another couple of years we'll get there. <laughs> Let's see that that's not even funny. We have horrible, yucky weather in Michigan here. It's snowing like crazy right now even. And uh, before Stacy goes to work, we got to go clear cars in the driveway a little. Yeah. And then get her going and pray that it doesn't dump two more feet before she gets out. Short day today. Um, I'm only six hours today. Yeah, so it's Sunday. Yeah, we're more at home. We're a day late. Uh, yesterday was a very chaotic day from the moment we woke up. We got news that unfortunately my aunt had passed, and uh, we were trying to deal a little bit with that with family and, and some details and some information. And then uh, it was a, the funeral for a co worker that passed uh, yep. at work. Um, <sighs> she had that issue with everybody at work and things going on so and then we also had just picked up on Friday evening late uh, we picked up Lauren from her apartment and brought her home with all her laundry and things of that nature <laughs> and then uh, I changed both of the girls batteries on their laptops mm -hmm. both of them you know they're both older five years or so or years is a little older yeah. but you know what they work fine it's just that they don't last on the battery anymore um, you know you unplug it and Lauren's was like 15 minutes later it was dead and yours was getting bad. Yeah. You used to be able to go a whole day and then now it's like, you know, an hour later you're like, oh shoot. So Gotta I, plug in. <laughs> yeah, so I changed the batteries in both of their laptops yesterday too. Um, so Saturday just ended up being a wash, you know, it, it literally washed because our washer never stopped because Lauren brought home <laughs> laundry. Yeah. So, you know, I got, I snuck one load in late last night, like 2 a.m. I, <laughs> Went and did some swapping and did one load of clothes because I needed some stuff done. But, yeah, the girls are all up to date on their laptops. And, you know, everybody's happy. And it's nice to have Lauren visiting with us. And, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know what we're going to do for food or lunch or dinner today. Yeah, but lunch for you guys. I was going to bring a rotisserie chicken home. I like the rotisserie chicken. I can yeah. pick that up. Pick, pick, pick at it. <laughs> Picky, pick. And you guys eat the white meat. I just want the dark. Darky. What? I, I like the dark I meat. I didn't say a word. Okay. It works out well because I won't touch the dark meat. Nope. And I don't eat the chicken breast. It's blah. But I'll put gravy on it or something and eat it if nobody eats it before I throw it away. You know? <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. Julia's doing really good. Mm-hmm. Yep. She's, she's happy. She's actually got a friend coming over today to hang out for a little bit. So they're going to... Oh, don't even say that to me. Uh, start getting out some axes and stuff on the table and just like sharpen them. You don't do that. <laughs> Lay like bullets all over the table or William. something. I gotta load my magazines. Or something, you know. <sighs> freak the kid out. Oh well. No, uh, uh, so she's got a friend coming over. I don't know, watching, that, watching Netflix or something. I don't know. Yeah. And, uh, we're just gonna. Well, we'll see you early today because it's Sunday. Yeah, I'm off so at like six seven. Oh, so, so yeah, so like seven yeah. o'clock, we'll see you. Yeah, try and do a dinner. It is really weird with you working these, um, like twelve to eight or uh, one to eight thirty nines, yeah. and then she comes home, and then it's like uh, I didn't eat. I kind of waited, you know, for you. I keep telling them, don't wait for me. Well, you got to remember too. My schedule is very different than yours. I'm up easily till. Two, three, four in the morning, and then I. But then I see you eat, and I want to eat. Kind of the same mentality. I no, you're right. Want to eat? It's bad. So it's bad. My I windows I, are yucky. Yeah, I think I've done pretty well on not coming home, in just wanting to eat every night. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. You said it, so I'll go with it. 
I come home and eat every night at no, nine. No, no, no. That's 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 a literal definition. No, that's <laughs> that's true that you don't. The one day it just it was horrible. I didn't it didn't feel like eating at work. I wasn't feeling well. So by the time I got home, it was like I'm starving. So it's weird. Um, I took Lauren to Costco yesterday when Stacy was working. She had a eye, eye doctor appointment, mm -hmm. so we had to get her eyes checked and her course her script changed. So we had to get new lenses, new frames, or whatever. Um, thankful for insurance that helps yes. with the majority of it. But um, yeah, it, it's so strange because I felt like it was Christmas Eve. We had to park at the far corner of the lot and walk mm -hmm. in. It was so packed, so packed in that lot. Yeah, and and yet like maybe three days ago. We had, I sent her a text on a break or something, and she's like, yeah, it's dead in here. So it's it's hard to say feast or famine on whether or not people are there and yeah. shopping. Are they still doing those, like, fill a cart full of stuff because they're, like, trying to stock up? or We're still getting now where people, because there's no limits on anything, okay. where they're buying two and three toilet papers. I'm like, you guys, that's like 48 rolls of toilet paper. Which is a one... long time. I don't know. We got we buy that big pack, but I don't well, buy yeah, like three or four. But I'm not buying three at a time. I don't even have the room to put those things. Are huge. I don't feel like a cart. Oh yeah, that Easy. one thing is. So you'd have to get the push cart <laughs> loaded up like you do with it's, water it's, or something. I, I don't know. It's crazy. We've been running out of water. I was going to say, is there any limits on anything? Can you buy a hundred cases of water if you want to lug it home? Yeah, no limits on anything at this point that I can recall. So. Um, and no, no, um, for Michigan, no mask mandate, right? You don't have to wear a mask in the store. I, I You do not, as a member coming in, as, but as an, an employee, employee, we have to wear a mask. At this point, that's the yeah. protocol for you guys. Yeah, yeah I um, I noticed that it was, gosh, I, I almost want to say half and half. Yeah. Maybe something like that. Maybe a little more towards the no mask side. Yeah, and then we have the extreme where we have... Three masks or something. Yeah. Oh, quite a few people are wearing two masks, and then I've even seen some with three masks and a shield. I don't think I could breathe with three masks on. Yeah, my asthma is bad enough. I no, there's no yeah. way I I could do it. Hmm. Yeah, speaking of that, you've had to use the inhaler just because of the cold. The cold. She came in from the cold the other day, and you, I don't know, were you clearing a car or something? No, oh, no I, you were lo loading groceries and stuff in. Lauren's bags and laundry and groceries that you picked up. Yeah. And just that little ins and outs, she was like, <laughs> so I had to go grab an inhaler and shake it up yeah. and say, here. The, the asthma's bad right now. Um, I walk in that cold to the weather. store with, you know, the my scarf over my nose and my mouth to keep that moist air, um, that cold air is hitting my lungs and it's triggering an asthma attack almost See, where we're going with that is that Bill's saying, let's go south where it's warmer. Yesterday it was like negative one here and I said, hey, let's check out what it's like in Tennessee. And it was 59 degrees. It was. So, food for thought, the more you know. <laughs> let's go south. I'm so tired of winter. <laughs> I, you know, I lived in, in uh, New York and in Indiana and <laughs> Illinois and, and wherever I've been, we've just been pummeled with snow since I was a baby. I'm ready to leave the snow. I never understood the word snowbird. Like people who live in Michigan that were yeah. older and they were snowbirds. Well, I guess I'm getting older because I'm ready to go away from <laughs> my joints hurt. My body is like, Ugh, and I don't want to fall. I already fall enough when there's dry ground, much less icy snowing. Yeah. And I hate driving in it. I just turn it into my grandpa. <laughs> That's what he used to do all the time when he was mad. He rubbed his head. <laughs> so I knew to just leave him alone if he was right. touching his head or his leg because he broke his leg in the war and I guess like part of his shin or something broke in there and there was big scars on his leg and when he would rub his leg or be touching his leg he was ticked off let's say <laughs> so if you saw grandpa touching his leg or his head and uh my cousins will verify this one but uh boy you you didn't even want to talk to him <laughs> he just hi grandpa walk right by but that's other than funny. that, he was a fantastic guy. But yeah, he had his moments. Yeah. That's too funny. That oh was when goodness. there was real, what is it? Post-traumatic stress disorder or whatever. Yeah, PTSD. Yeah, he would wake up screaming and stuff from junk from the war. Yeah. When I it was sad. first started dating Bill, 
Well, not, I guess not when we first, it was shortly before we got married, so not when we first started. But his grandparents came to live with um, my mom. His mom. Yep. And super nice. Grandma was very quiet, um, starting yep. with dementia. But, you know, uh, his grandpa was in the room with me in the living room, and we were just very quiet watching TV. And they were, I don't know, not in the room. And all of a sudden, he. <laughs> yes. I, I, I won't yes. say what he I said, know, but I, I was like, I, oh, I. I was I was a little afraid. Um, there was a couple of SOBs in there. And, yep, and yeah, <clears throat> um, war stuff. Yes, very Apparently. and very serious. Very, I mean, he was mad, and I was like, oh, I couldn't wait. And then all of a sudden, Bill comes running up the stairs. He's like, Grandpa, it's okay. And I'm like, I gotta go in the other room. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't you couldn't have uh, utensils or anything around Grandpa. He, <sighs> he just uh, yeah, he he would. Get in defense mode very quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but all that stuff for... I, I never understood that whole war stuff and everything, and it's hard for me to even imagine doing some of the things that the guys did, you know, and they, and they still do, obviously, but... Yeah. I mean, yeah, when I hear people talk about, you know, oh, my... I don't know, my cat died and I have PTSD and stuff, it makes me feel a little frustrated that... You know, they're using that kind of a term where other people who have been through so much more... Soldiers that are coming home from, I don't know. I guess it's not my place to judge, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, I kind of I kind of get that. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe that's not the right definition. Or, yeah. or, or it's a definition, I guess, that fits for them. But it's, it's, it's uh, yeah, there's just so many things that you experience as you get older and you've gone through things. And you, you're like, wow, that's truly what they mean by that you know right, right. i didn't get it as a younger kid but as i get older and i'm like yeah, looking back now. as i look back i'm like wow he's been through a lot and then my other grandpa and my stepdad side joe papa joe papa joe same thing and he would talk about you know he was one of the paratrooper guys in normandy and all that stuff yeah. or, you know so he had some crazy stories too so what was the uh, saving private ryan we went to see that with yep. them that was his troop. Yeah, or the, I think the 101st Airborne or something. Yeah. I think mean, that was a huge thing. Of it was, oh my God, I just got goosebumps from head to toe. Um, yeah. Because watching a grown man cry, he got up and saluted. That was, woo, years and years and years ago, and it's still emotional thinking about being in that movie with him. Holding his hand. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to go do that with him because yeah. he wasn't even really a movie person at this point but of his age. You know, go. he was in his 80s, I think. Yeah, he said, "Would you, would you take?" Me? Yeah, would you go? And absolutely, and it was a packed theater, we had and him. he had his little beret on. His beret. Yep, I remember. Yeah, so it has the real one. Now I wonder where all that kind of stuff went. I don't even know who one of his sons or something got. Yeah. I'm sure his medals and his things that he had Pretty from the cool war. Though. Yeah, it would be neat to see that again. Yeah, it was definitely yeah. an experience and I don't know. Yeah, a lot of people are you know, polarized in one way or another by the military or what but those guys did a lot. Yeah. So either way, I think <sighs> <laughs> okay, well, it's time for us to uh, get Stace going and go clean some snow and some cars and things. And if Go you're still around, thanks for hanging out with us. <laughs> uh, this week was not our best week. Nope. But, you know. It's going to get better. Keep moving forward. Keep, keep trying. Right? Yes. Good morning, right. Julia. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Julia. <laughs> Julia's already been up that you're not aware. No, I know she's been up. She's probably been up since 7 o'clock this morning. Probably, or earlier. She but gets up early, she doesn't early. like to... She, I'm surprised she's saying anything because she knows that we're... Um, doing a video. Doing a video. Yeah, you don't like getting up. I know. <laughs> All righty, guys. Well, thanks for... <laughs> All right, go back to sleep. All right, well, anyway, what I was going to say was uh, thanks for hanging out with us, and um, we will be back next week with another update and let you know where we're at. See you later. Bye. Bye.